Define Stalker. Written by Cherker. Is it an obsession gone too far? Or maybe is it something more sinister? I don't think I'm a stalker. I simply watch. I'm not a peeping Tom. I don't follow you home. I'm just here. I like to describe it as people watching. I like to watch you. I like to watch you get up in the morning and seeing your face highlighted by the sunlight that spills through the curtains. I like to watch you throughout your day, doing small chores and other tasks. I like to watch how you act around friends and family, compared to being on your own. You're so interesting, you know, especially when you think you're alone. But you never are. And I know you can feel my eyes on you. You play it off. I know you do. You're trying to convince yourself it's just the caffeine of your morning coffee or the rush of adrenaline from one of your many energy drinks, which really aren't good for you. I know that deep down, you know I'm here. Watching. Waiting. Waiting for what, though? Maybe I'm waiting for you to leave a window, perhaps even a door open overnight. I come and go as I please, but you don't know that. Maybe I'm waiting for you to bring someone home with you on a random drunken impulse. But as I said, I'm not a peeping Tom. I don't watch you as you get dressed or shower, my dear. I guess I don't even really watch you. I study you. You keep a journal. You hide it in the bottom of your nightstand, buried under all of the other books you have. It's boring what you write in it, about your nights and your parties you'll go to, about your job and your attractive boss. Sometimes you'll mention feeling <laughs> unsettled. I'd apologize for making you feel that way, but I won't because you called the cops once. All because I knocked over a stupid lamp. You didn't even like that one. Yet you called the cops who attempted to invade my privacy. But it's all been taken care of. I watched you turn on the television a few weeks after they had come to investigate. I watched you gasp and turn to tears when you realized who had gone missing. It's not my fault, dear. They were poking around where they weren't supposed to. Your hair is quite beautiful. I like the way you play with it when you're bored or when you're nervous. How you shake. The way your sobs scratch their way out from your throat when you're sad. I like the way your mind works. I like the way you speak. I like the way you sing. I especially like the scream you let out when you found those cops' bodies in your attic when you were looking for some old photos. How you scrubbed at the floorboards while sobbing, wondering what got blood out of the carpet in the next room. How you cursed me for stalking you for so long, and now for framing you for murder. <laughs> I'm not stalking you, I'm studying you. You're so easy to jump to conclusions. You're so quick to call your best friends and try to convince them that you're not crazy. But it ends up driving them all away. You make me so angry, but I find the changes in your behavior so interesting. You're so paranoid. You feel like you're going crazy. Perhaps you think you're the ones who slit their throats and cut their wrists. I have never cried as you have. When I first started watching you, I cried every night. Sometimes I even puked, thinking about the games I would have to play with you. But now... <gasps> I'm proud of my work. I'm proud of how I managed to shape you like clay. Shaped you into what you are now. You still have flaws, I admit. But it's fun to toy with them. No one's perfect, anyway. It's fun to watch you when you're trying to sleep. It's fun to watch you tremble and shake knowing that I'm at the foot of your bed. Just watching. Waiting. Just studying the fearful look in your eyes. 
I can't wait for the next game we get to play, dear. I can't wait for you to let your guard down. I can't wait until you turn around, dear. I can't wait until you really see me.